This is Sean with VoicesOfRacing.com, and I'm here with Joe Alberts with your, is it 1967 Cadillac Eldorado convertible? 54. Oh, I'm sorry, 1954. And uh, tell me a little bit about the car itself, about the engine, and just some things you know about it. So this is the numbers matching engine uh, from 1954. We have the uh, sign there that sort of identifies all the all the specs. And so a couple nice Beatles, are uh, The engine there, it's the original 331 CID V8, 230 horsepower. Uh, we've got all the original uh, tabbings and, and um, uh, decals that the original engine would have had, including the uh, Cadillac certi cert certification there on the front. Okay. Um, move around to the interior. So we'll move around to the interior. So this is the uh, correct interior color. It's the correct interior style for uh, this vehicle. It's the correct carpet. Um, it's the, the interior has been replaced. This isn't the original 1954 interior, but this is exactly what the interior would have looked like when it rolled off the showroom floor. Do you have any idea how much this thing weighs? Yeah, the, we, we have the curb weight. It's about 4,800 pounds. 4,800 pounds. Yeah, this thing is a tank. It has a lot of forward momentum. How many people can you fit in the back? Uh, well, I guess it depends on the size. Uh, they're my size or somebody else's <laughs> size. But this is one of the uh, Harley Earl GM designs. And one of the cool things he did... Uh, starting with the Cadillacs, or how he did the fuel fills, and he buried the fuel fills inside the. the um, That's pretty slick. Yeah, buried them inside here, and then you have a matching one over there. But this one, press the button, fuel fill pops up. He did that so as not to mess up the heat metal. So how long have you had the car? I've owned this car for about a year. A year? Yeah. Have you taken other shows? Uh, a few, I mean, the pandemic sort of put a put a uh, hamper on that. But this car has been to a handful of shows this year, and we have Artemobilia coming up in Carmel, which is a big sort of right. concourse show around here. We'll be there next weekend, and we'll try to hit as many of them as we can between now and the end of the season. Well, it's a beautiful car, and it's a tank, <laughs> and uh, congratulations. Great. Thank you. You got it. This will be at VoicesOfRacing.com.